So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking an asset and we're going to be fixing it, we're going to be preparing it for Unreal and then we'll take it into Unreal. So let's begin. To start with, you've got the folder that I've given you. Move that somewhere in the computer where you'll be able to access it. We then open Maya. Now I need to set my project because I need to tell it where all the files are that I need. That includes the scene folders, the scenes, the textures, and anything else. So I go file and I'm going to set the project. It's not anywhere under there, it's under folder. It's in here, those are the folders that I'm needing, that's my project. So I can either click set or go back to the root folder and click set. I can tell whether I've done it correctly by clicking open and it should open the scenes folder. I can then open my scene and it will open right here. Yours should look like this when it opens as well. There should be a texture there. If there's not, just press 6 just to make sure that you are in the shaded display. If it's still no texture, go back and reset your project. What I'm going to do is, to start with, I'm just going to arrange all the items neatly in the bowl. And that's looking okay. What we want to do next is when we take all of this into Unreal, it's going to call it whatever we've called it. So I want things to be a bit more specific than what they are now. So in my outliner, I can rename them. Now if you can't see the outliner, just make sure you press this one right here. I can see that that is my tangerine. This is a pear. This is a peach, banana, and another peach. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am then going to check my textures. So in here, we actually have two textures applied, not that you'd know. So I'm going to go into my Hypershade menu, or by opening Windows, Rendering Editors and Hypershade. Now you see it gives me an error saying that it can't find one of the texture files. It's looking on the desktop. A common problem is either the desktop or the downloads folder. We want to make sure everything's in our source images folder and our project set. We've made sure our project set. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my pair and I can change where that particular file is. So it's looking for my desktop. I'm going to change that if I click open source images and I can re put that texture on there. Now it should follow the source images folder and not my desktop. Let's go out and see if that's fixed it. And it looks like it has. Looking very nice. Okay. Well, what I need to do now is to make a new texture for my peaches. So I can do that a couple of ways. Let's make this one in my Hypershades folder. I'm going to make it a Lambert. I'm going to rename that straight away to Peach. Peach Material. Press Enter. I can change it to a color if that's the style you're after. Or I'm going to make it a file. So I'm now going to go and find my Peach, there it is. Open, but nothing's there. That's because I haven't applied it yet. So I'm going to hold right click, assign an existing material, and go Peach. And there it is. Now I can do that as well for this Peach. And there it is. Beautiful. We will fix up the transparency in Unreal. Now, with my banana texture, I'll create this texture a different way. I can hold right click and go assign new material, a Lambert, and I'm going to call this banana material. I'm going to look for my banana texture, but it's not there. It's actually somewhere else. 
So I need to move it into my source images folder before I apply it. You'll see it's actually in the wrong folder. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to move it into my source images folder. There it is. Open and it's done. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply another type of texture to this. This, I'm going to apply a new material, make it a Lambert, and I'm just going to make this a simple colour. How beautiful. You might want to rearrange it so it actually looks semi-realistic. Okay, and what I've done there is I've made it a new colour. Now I can't remember whether I renamed that or not, so I'm going to go right click and find out the attributes of that material. And it tells me it's Lambert 8, so no I didn't. So I'm going to rename it bowl, mat, press enter. And I've pressed enter. So I think I'm ready for this to be moved into Unreal now. So I need to get it ready. One of the first things when we're moving, oh, when we're moving a model in is we actually want to make sure it's at zero. So it's at zero. What that means is this graph right here, right in the middle there, that's zero, zero. We want to make sure that it's at zero so that then when it's open in Unreal, the pivot is center. Otherwise, the pivot might be something like that. And so when we go to move this or rotate it, it rotates a bit funny and we're not quite sure how it's meant to work. So what we're going to do is we are going to fix all these items. So if I go to my channel box and look under here, you can see that these aren't all to zero and their scale isn't to one. So I'll need to freeze those to make sure it knows that's how big it should be. You'll also see that under the bowl, it's actually got a lot of history behind it. We want to delete that history, otherwise it's going to confuse Unreal. And Unreal is going to wonder what sort of object it actually is. So let's do that, and you'll need to do this for all your models. So with the object selected, edit, delete all by type history, and you'll see it's deleted. Now this is the shape of the bowl. But now I also want to make sure these are zero and the scale is one. I'm going to freeze transformations. I can either press that one or modify freeze transformations. And there we go. If I want to do it this way, I can go freeze transformations and there it is. I can also move my pivots now. So for a door, you can move it to the right location so that when you rotate it, it will rotate correctly. But I'm just gonna leave all these ones center and I might export these ones one at a time. Okay, I'm ready now to get these ready. All right, so let's say I wanna take the banana first. I'm going to go file, I'm going to export the selection. If I export all, it will export everything in this scene and that's when this bowl, its pivot point will be tied to zero. If I export selection, we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna move it into my scenes folder and I'm going to change, if you scroll all the way down, to FBX export. I'm going to call this banana mesh and I'm gonna export that. And I'm ready now to take it into Unreal. So for the purpose of this, Let's export the rest of the fruit, export selection, fruit, mesh, and then let's, as a third, go export all fruit bowl mesh. Okay, and that's the video. Now, next we'll go into Unreal.